Hey there, Cancer, and welcome into your reading. So what's interesting is I'm just sort of randomly picking signs to do. Uh, as you can see, I'm at a different location. I'm actually outside at a park in a little grove of trees next to a dog park. So lots of good vibes here. Got my feet grounded on the ground. I've cleansed and shuffled all of your decks so far, or all the, the decks so far. Um, let's go ahead and get into your reading. What's interesting is I just finished a reading for Aries. A lot of the energy around today has to do with movement, power in your environment. So I'm not going to paint anything or, you know, pre-read the energies for you. But as I was shuffling, I did get sort of a, a well, Cancer being a water sign, I did get a more of a, an emotional energy just sort of um, come over me. And what's interesting is I felt like I needed to relight my incense, which had turned out. And right as I said, an emotional energy, a, a, a leaf from this tree just fell onto a picnic table next to me. Heart-shaped leaves, yeah, something about heart, heart energies. The truth falling, a falling away of emotion. Um, but what we're gonna do is actually start your reading with um, these personal values cards just to see what the main focus of your message is. Hey, that was somebody who just drove by, scraped out the window, okay, interesting. Excitement. <laughs> Excitement, that's a good emotion. Let's let's keep it keep it high vibe, right? Environment. Holy shit, that's really crazy. So I shuffled these cards really well. This is the third time that environment has come out today. And there's quite a few cards. So something about changes in our environment or your environment. For cancer, please. Justice. Oh. Curiosity. Love. Love again. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So for cancer, please. Um, because I'm out here in at a park, I thought it was only fitting to go ahead and work with the Sacred Forest Oracle, the Woodland Wardens. And we have our botanical inspirations as well to get a message closed, but just in case we need some extra advice or uh, messages from the animals, we can always pull on them too. But let's go ahead and start your message. For Cancer, please. For Cancer, what is this excitement in their environment? For Cancer. Strongest energy that wants to come forward. What the fuck? Sorry. Excuse my language, especially if, this, if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, you can go ahead and watch the Aries reading because Aspen literally came out in the same exact position. Aspen. Courage. At number three. And what I didn't get from this, excuse the plane flying above, what I didn't get from this card or the energy that I didn't get from this card that I am getting now is the energy of courage um, through participation in groups, courage in a group, courage to join a group, courage to surround yourself, maybe that has to do with your environment, surround yourself with healing, uplifting, and beneficial energies. The energies of excitement, the energies of coming together in a group to do something or get something accomplished. And then with three, um, that has to do with, with coming together, but I'm, I'm really getting a home as well. Maybe that's the environment. Justice. Why is justice sticking out to me? What else for cancer? Family. Yeah, so that might have to do, that, that might be, wow, words. That might be why I'm getting some sort of group here. Noticing that there's four butterflies as well. So you might be a family of three uh, and a passed away loved one. Someone in spirit is, is assisting you or watching you, watching over you, watching over whatever this excitement or, or change in your environment might be. I'm really getting a strong energy of a change in a lot of people's environment. Ooh. Um, but what I get from this wolf spirit card is that you're you're not only protected here on this planet, but you're protected in spirit as well, and so is your family. So let that 
uh, um, have comfort in that. And look, there's also three wolves on this card. And 51 adding to six. There's something about stability, finding stability in your family through whatever this change in your environment or excitement around your environment is, is um, coming to the fore. And I just quickly peeked at the bottom of the deck and I had Sanctuary again in reverse. So something having, definitely having to do with your home environment. Justice around your home environment. Maybe, oh, I just got a very specific scenario, so take it or leave it. Um, but there's something around construction in your home construction in your home environment um, that's either taking you out of your home, maybe you're remodeling for a little bit, or maybe there was some sort of damage that was done and, and um, there's some sort of construction work that needs to be done to repair it or bring it back to working order. There may have been a situation that was unjust regarding that remodeling or regarding um, the damage that was done and you will have justice. You know, what I get is it's coming through some sort of support in your family. Interesting. This might be a rite of passage, what? I just got a really strong past life energy. So in healing this or de in dealing with this situation in transmuting these energies in go <coughs> going with the flow, excuse me. There's something about a, a past life energy being transmuted. Hmm, interesting. For cancer, please, anything else that wants to come out for cancer? Growth. Oh, interesting. So growth came out like this something stagnating your growth. I didn't see another card beneath it, but it's knowledge. Hmm. This is the first time I've looked at this card and noticed that she has only one eye open. And what I understand from this, oh wow, wow, really interesting message coming in. Um, you might not be seeing a situation clearly around this environment, Surrounding, <laughs> surrounding this environment, um, surrounding your family, uh, and it's the lack of clarity or the lack of understanding is preventing your growth. The, the lack of seeing the situation clearly, seeing it only through one perspective, ah, okay, is, is preventing your growth. You don't have full knowledge of this situation. But what I get is um, that knowledge is being revealed. Okay, and, so, and uh, it might be some sort of, with this being air spirit, it might be through your dreams, Ooh, dreams, through your dreams, um, or through some sort of psychic download, some sort of intuition, uh, maybe one of your guides or an angel will come and deliver this message to you, 144, huh. these two numbers, yeah, you might be getting a, uh, some sort of spiritual download, or an angelic presence might make something aware to you that you weren't seeing in the past, and that's going to facilitate your growth in the situation. So I was really feeling like this had something to do with the home, a family home. Hmm. And what I said earlier that this is really coming in is, is the idea that toadstools, they're mushrooms, right? But mushrooms, yes, sure, they, in, in certain environments, they grow every day, all the time, right? But what I get from this toadstool in particular is it's, what's required in its environment for it to grow is moisture, a lot of moisture. And what's interesting is I, like it's, it's not just moisture in, in, in the piece of wood that it's growing on, the dead log, but it's actually humidity and moisture in the air. I don't know why that's significant. But if, if there's something about the environment needing to be right for this justice to take place. There needs to be the right amount of moisture. There needs to be the right amount of humidity. Um, maybe, the, maybe it's excitement. It needs to be a, the right amount of fire. The right amount of, of exciting energy in the air, in your environment, around your family, around this knowledge in order for it to really take off and grow. But what's interesting, and I can't really shake it, is the, is the idea of this justice card coming through to reveal some sort of truth to you, or bring you justice through some sort of truth or inner awareness or inner knowing. Okay, and we, uh, Purity was at the bottom of the deck with the unicorn, unicorn. So don't be closed-minded. Um, 
in terms of the opportunities and the excitements, not, not the excitements, the opportunities um, and the knowledge that might be coming towards you. Don't, don't close yourself off to the different ways that you might receive this message or this insight, okay? Cancer, I don't know how long I've been rambling on for this reading, but I'm going to try and speed it up for you, okay? Uh, we're going we're to go ahead and pick from the Woodland Wardens, please, to clarify each of these. Clarify courage for a cancer, please. Ooh, interesting. Dreams, yeah, so th that's what I said. Maybe it's not courage. <laughs> uh, with the caiman and the poppy, with dreams, it feels like this growth is going to come to you. You're going to be able to see this situation clearly when knowledge comes to you in, in a dream or in some sort of dream state. And what I get from poppy being the, excuse me, the main plant um, known to make the drug opium, opioids, it's, there's sort of a, a different state of mind that you might be in. Not that you use any of those drugs, but it might just be like a shift in consciousness or literally you're dreaming, a shift in awareness that brings this knowledge in towards you that allows you to grow. And I, I, I asked for clarification on courage, right? So these dreams are going to give you the courage to take action, to stop being that caiman with its only its eyes poked above the surface of the water for you to actually strike at your prey and to bring in whatever this justice is. Um, but I really feel like this should go here. So I'm going to put it there. For cancer, please. And, whoa, no, that's way too many. Um, for cancer, please. And what I was about to say is, oh, so it might come in. So this knowledge might not just be like one, two, three pieces. It might be like a deluge of, or deluge, however you say that, of, of information, of psychic insights, of, of dreams that you just weren't expecting. Um, but what I was about to say is being being cancer, being that watery energy, being in your emotions and feeling your emotions and feeling your dreams and all that stuff, it's already sort of part and parcel. Uh, yeah, cancer. Trust in, wow, trust in the invisible and I just got the chills from that. So you, this is definitely happening in your dream state in some way and it's definitely being divinely guided in some way, okay? And what, I, like I said, woof. My words are going crazy. Notice the blue in the huckleberry and the blue in the in the family card. I did say that you might have some sort of past over loved one. There's three people involved. There's three family members involved. But you're being guided by the divine, the invisible, by this past over loved one. This is definitely, look at the blue here. This is definitely tying it all together. Passed away loved one. Um, the head of the family. I just got matriarch is overseeing, might, might even be the, the individual who's delivering this knowledge to you in your dream state to help you and your family grow, to help you and your family have justice in whatever this situation is. And what I get from excitement to sort of read back up the line is that this is an exciting development for you because you might already be somebody who is really interested in their dreams and has a dream journal and does dream interp interpretation. But to have all of, yeah, I'm really getting crazy chills. To have all of this information come to you suddenly at once, it's part of this growth and ascension that the human race is going through, but it's going to be, it's going to help solidify and sow in and ground and give a foundation to your ability to trust your dreams and trust your knowledge and trust the messages that come through in that state. Okay. I barely even shuffled and both of these cards came and I, I questioned whether I should take them and I, I definitely got strongly yes. Um, an ending and a home. Okay. XXX being 30. Coming in reverse. And X111. <laughs> so uh, 13 being an ending. So to me, especially with this coming on courage with there being so many threes, right? We have 30, 13, and three. This is to sort of um, emphasize the fact that there might be an ending around uh, your current environment, your home, okay? 
and that this this whole transition is going to be a little bit um I don't want to I don't want to even say that I was gonna say it's going to be a little bit rough but I don't know that so it just might be an ending and with all changes comes a little bit of growing pains changing pains so you're being encouraged uh, regardless of what's happening to your home you're being encouraged to allow the ending to take place and to allow the divine insights to flow in and know that you're being guided and supported by your family here in, in the 3D realm, but also your family um, in the invisible realms, okay? What I'm really being encouraged to emphasize is you will have justice in whatever the situation is and whatever happened to your home that's causing this ending, okay? But I'm also encouraged to note that eucalyptus is a very, very protective um, plant, a very protective herb. It's often used in smudge sticks for protection. But what I'm seeing here is the cyclical or circular nature of the way that this eucalyptus is, is um, spread out on the card. And I really see this ending uh, having to take place so that a new beginning and excitement can sort of be ushered in. <laughs> Growth can be ushered in. Okay. That's a big message. That's pretty intense, Cancer. I'm not going to lie. But all good things, well, not all good things, but <laughs> it feels like there is a be, uh, an energy of hope around this rather than resistance to an ending. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and grab, okay, that really wanted to come out, one flower card from the Botanical Inspirations. And we have Gerbera or Gerbera Daisy, purity, cheerfulness, and innocence. The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you're attentive, you will see it. Okay. So yeah, there, while change is always, not always, but change can often be uncomfortable, what I understand from this is take a moment to look around and appreciate the pieces of this change or the parts of, of this um, situation that allow you to still be excited and cheerful that allow you to have hope and innocence in how the situation might play out in your favor that allow you to have faith in miracles taking place on your behalf and on behalf of your family because there's a very strong protective energy around this reading a very strong guided energy around this situation so you really all you can do is sort of sit in that cheerfulness, sit in the innocence knowing that you will have justice and appreciate the beauty of the things around you and the beauty of the support that you have in your family. Okay, Cancer? An interesting and pretty intense message, but it seems like everything is going to work out well for you, and I certainly hope it does. Okay? If you found this message helpful, please go ahead and give it a like or comment below. I will be uploading this on YouTube, so if you're watching it there, welcome. Please do subscribe for more messages in the future. This is where we part. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and a rest of your week.